Becoming a data analyst completely changed my life. More opportunities, more freedom, and a career I actually love. And if you're chasing something similar, stick around because I'm gonna break down exactly how data analytics can change your life too. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ian, I'm a self-taught data analyst, and this is the place where we dive into tools, tech, and strategy to help level up your skills, whether you're aiming to become a data analyst or just exploring it. Now let's first talk about a very important one to me, and that's freedom. So let's discuss the first one, freedom. The first one being I'm not locked down to any particular city. So if I'm planning a move to a different city or a town, maybe it's nowhere close to a big city, I don't have to worry about moving there because I could still work at my company if I'm working remotely. Now you can't have that with other jobs and a lot of jobs in tech or data specifically are remote. Now the second one I wanna discuss here is Outside of my full time, there are still opportunities to work in freelance or even side hustles. So freelance to get a little extra money if you really like what you're doing. You can always moonlight with sites like Fiverr or Upwork just to get a little bit more money. Or if you have hobbies outside of data and you still want that sort of side hustle, you can have those opportunities too. So this last area I wanna talk about here is you can work anywhere. And I'm not talking about anywhere as far as a city or town. I'm talking about anywhere in your house or apartment, wherever you live. So I can work in my office. I can work, if I have no meetings, I could go on my bed and work some hours there in bed. I can step outside and work outside if it's a nice day out. Or I could just work in the kitchen while I'm cooking lunch or something like that. So you have more freedom than you would in an actual office. So the second part I wanna talk about in this video is a little bit of a deeper dive into remote life. So a very big important thing for me, since I am in my mid thirties as of this video, more time with my family. Now, if you don't have a family, wife, kids, or something like that, you can still have more time with your friends and family. But to me, this is the most important part because raising a little one, I don't get to miss out on those first steps. I don't get to miss out on those fun times throughout the day. So this other area in remote life I love is eating my own lunches and cooking whatever I want to. That might not be a big deal to a lot of people, but to me who's like a big foodie, I want to go to my kitchen and just cook whatever I want. I don't have to worry about anyone else, but I could have a hot meal pretty much every day. And then also that means I could snack all day and I'm not bothering anyone like I would in an office, just crunching on food. Now another big aspect to doing what I want around the house is I get to listen to my own music. That is huge to me, so especially when I'm cranking out some SQL code or knocking out a dashboard, if I could just put on my own music in the background, that just makes my life even better. Now the last thing I want to talk about with remote life is I find this to be a pro because I like to do nothing on my weekends. So if I have opportunities within my day where there's a 20 minute gap between work or meetings like that, I could get something done around the house. Now that might not be a big deal, but to me, if I can knock out 20 minutes today and not have to do it on the weekend, that just saves me that much more time. So even little things like doing dishes or picking up clothes or laundry or something like that, that really adds up and you'd be surprised how much time you can save. Actually, there's one more area I wanna talk about in remote life, and it's the lack of commute. This is so big on saving you money throughout your month, if you look at it that way. Um, you're saving wear and tear on your vehicle or public transportation. You don't have to pay for gas. You have less insurance because you can put your mileage for commuting it to zero. Um, all of this adds up and that full day where you worked eight hours, but you had to commute 45 minutes one way, that makes it a 10 hour day with commute involved. You get to shrink that down and cut out commute completely. That's a huge win uh, to working remote. And I just love it for that reason. Now this last area of the video I wanna talk about is great pay and career opportunities. Now, this is the whole reason why we work, right? Um, I went from $20 an hour to making over six figures in less than two years, all because of data analytics. Now, if you're curious of how I did that, I'll link a card up here on the video, which you can watch how I became a data analyst without any experience. 
Now, even though I am still in my early stages of being a data analyst, there are still so many opportunities for me. It's what I like to call where the career growth is open. I have so many paths I can take. I can continue on being a data consultant or go back to being a marketing analyst, or I can pivot to data engineering, data science, anything I really want. Now with all these routes I can take, they all have their own salary caps. So if you're looking to reach those higher salary caps, um, like principal data engineer or staff data engineer or something like that, where they can reach you know, $300,000, $400,000 a year, that's definitely a route you can take, but it will take a little bit to get there. Now, as far as careers go, so we discussed, you know, there's many routes to take. There's also different verticals within those routes you can have, which mean um, different industries. So you could be in healthcare, marketing, financial, you name it. There's so many industries that need data, pretty much all of them, honestly. I've even worked for a gym before doing data in spreadsheets for them. But what I'm really saying here is there's so much flexibility with this career that it makes me feel happy because I'm not stuck or stagnant in any area. I always have a way I can go. So those are the main reasons why becoming a data analyst has changed my life. And as I mentioned before, if you're interested on how I became one, I recommend watching this video. I talk about becoming a data analyst all self-taught and especially without a degree.